Earlier this year, when the nation pressed pause on the economy and unemployment rates jumped up significantly, many homeowners were immediately concerned about being able to pay their mortgage and understandably so. I am Farnaz with the Walker Temami Terror Real Estate back this week to discuss the confusing aspects of forbearance and mortgage relief options. To assist in these challenging times, two protection plans were put into place to help support those in need. First was a pause placed on initiating foreclosures for government-backed loans. This plan is started on March 18, 2020, and it extends at least through December 31st, 2020. Second, homeowners were able to obtain forbearance for up to 180 days, followed by a potential extension for up to another 180 days. This way, there is a relief period in which homeowners have the opportunity to halt payments on their mortgage for up to one year. But not everyone understands their options. Help me. Help me, help you, help me, help you. The challenge, according to Matt Holstein, staff attorney at nonprofit Chicago Volunteer Legal Services, a lot of homeowners aren't aware of these options. There is definitely traction behind this statement. In a recent survey by the National Housing Resource Center, housing counselors from across the country noted that many homeowners really don't know that there is help available. The following graph indicates the reasons why people who are in these challenging situations are not choosing to enter forbearance. The Urban Institute explained there is a lack of understanding and education about the options for homeowners regarding forbearance. Clearly, a more focused effort on education about forbearance and relief programs may make a big difference for many people and a clear understanding of their option is mission critical. There are options available. It's important to know that any homeowners experiencing financial hardship has the right to request forbearance. If you are unfamiliar with the plans available, contact your mortgage provider, the company you send your mortgage payment to each month, to discuss your options. The bottom line, if you need additional information on your options, you can review the Protect Your Investment Guide from the National Association of Realtors and the Homeowner's Guide to Success from the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau. Here are a couple of links I've created for you that will take you to each of those guides. For the majority of people, our home is the most important asset we have, and you should use all the help available right now to be able to preserve your investments. Thank you for watching again. I'm Farnaz with the Walker Team of Intero, here to educate and navigate, not to speculate or fabricate. Remember, if you would like to stay up to date on everything real estate, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more weekly updates.